Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be making homemade chili and we're going to can it in pint jars. In this video I'll show you how you can make your chili, get it seasoned and tasting the way that you want it, and then can it up in jars so you'll have it later to eat and all you'll have to do is just warm it up. I'm making this chili today without beans. This is for my nephew to take to college with him, and he doesn't like beans in his chili. For this recipe, we're going to start with two pounds of very lean ground beef. We're going to add a little salt and pepper to season our ground beef, and we're going to actually brown the ground beef on the stove. We're going to cook it until it's, it's browned some. By allowing it to brown like this, it does add more flavor to your meat. We're going to then add one cup of chopped onions, one cup chopped bell pepper, and four tablespoons of minced garlic. You're going to cook this until your onions start looking translucent. And how you'll know that they've wilted enough to kind of look translucent is around about a third of the edge of the onion will start looking clear. Once it's got to this point, we're going to add our seasonings. And for our seasonings for the chili, we're going to add four tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon oregano, one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of regular paprika, and one teaspoon of smoked paprika. Stir this into your mix, and at this time you're going to add two cups of water. You're going to bring this mixture up to a bowl, and then we're going to add our four and a half cups of petite diced tomatoes. Once you've added your tomatoes in, we're going to stir this mixture up. Go ahead and add at least a half a teaspoon of salt and at least another quarter teaspoon of black pepper. It all depends on how much black pepper you like in your chili mix. After this mixture has cooked 10 or 15 minutes, you're going to add a heaping tablespoon of sugar. What, what this does to the tomatoes is it, it calms the acidity in the tomatoes. And it also lets you be able to test your chili to see if it's seasoned the way you want it before it cooks a long time. Well, we're going to cook this mixture for 30 minutes and then we're going to test it again for salt. Before we test it for salt, we're going to add another cup of water. And out of this cup of water, you're going to reserve one third cup of water. We're going to be adding cornstarch to that water to thicken our chili. After you've added your two thirds of the one cup of water to the chili, you'll again taste it to see if it needs salt. If it does so, add so add it at this time. You add three tablespoons of cornstarch to the one-third cup of water and mix it up to incorporate the cornstarch throughout the one-third cup of water. After your chili has came back up to a simmer, to a bowl, you're going to pour the cornstarch in stirring the whole time that you're adding the cornstarch. You'll bring this mixture up to a bowl and cook for three or four minutes. At this point you'll taste again and make sure that you have the right amount of salt and pepper and the seasonings done the way that you want them. Once you have the salt the way you want it and you've got your chili seasoned the way you want it, we're going to start ladling it into jars. I always heat my lids on the stove for my jars. It's the way I've done it for years and I've not had any problems with jars not sealing and staying sealed. So I'm going to continue to heat my lids whether the book says to do it or not. So we're going to not bring them up to a bowl or lids, but we're going to heat them on the stove with a little bit of probably around a cup of water should heat you a dozen lids. Once our lids are heated, we're going to have our pressure cooker on the stove with our water heating in the pressure cooker. We're going to take and ladle our chili into our jars, place our lids on, and we're going to snug them down finger tight. You're not going to crank down on them. 
We'll place the jars into the canner. And we're going to be pressure canning this on 10 minutes. And it's going to cook for 75 minutes. If you decide to use quart jars, it will need to cook for 90 minutes for quarts. After your chili has pressure cooked for the 75 minutes for pints, 90 minutes for quarts, you'll let your canner completely cool down on its own. You won't release the pressure or anything like that. You'll let it cool completely down to where you can remove the weight and there's no pressure left on the canner. At this time, you'll place, I always place a doubled towel on the counter and then I remove my chili out of the pressure cooker with a jar lifter and also wear protective gloves in case one of those jars were to bust it would not burn you. After you get your chili removed from the canner then cover it with another towel and leave it overnight. Hope you enjoyed our video. Hope you enjoy chili later on in the this cold wintry season. If we can help you in any way or if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you'd like to send us a personal message, we also answer all personal messages. This is the Pressured Prepper, and I'm out.